and there's a big crowd here for the top Ryman League clash of the day. It's the Division 1 match between Hampton and Aldershot Town for what should be a cracker of a game. And then when you moved on to Yeovil uh, Town, and that was when uh, Graham Roberts was there? Yeah, Graham Roberts was there. I was there for three quarters of a season. Um, had some good times there. Lovely stadium down at Yeovil, nice people. Um, and then I went to Aldershot. All right, so uh, tell us about your uh, history at Aldershot, because uh, you were captain and also you were in charge of like, the uh, junior shots. Yeah, I was, um, well, I was Phoenix Club president, is what it's called, but it's, it's a bit of a, uh, sort of a curse down there now, because everyone that's been the president has left, actually, not soon after, so uh, I don't know who's got it now. But I was there for a couple of years at, at Aldershot, and I really enjoyed it, and, um, you know, I was sad to leave. And now you've made the move over to Hampton, you've settled in well into the team. Yeah, I mean, I, I scored a couple of weeks ago, which was a surprise. I'm not usually up there in the, in the penalty box, not the oppositions anyway. Um, and I've played uh, every game since I've been here, and I'm really enjoying it. So what does it feel like today up against your old side in a big clash, you know, first week, second? It, it, it's going to be strange, but I think, you know, after 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it's just another football match. It's down to concentrating. You know, I've got a lot of good friends that, that, that are still at shot and play there, and I'm looking forward to it. So, have uh, the Hampton lads been uh, having a chat with you, Bri, how Aldershot play or how they'll approach this game? No, I think everyone knows how Aldershot play. The, you know, they're, they're a gigantic team at, at this level and um, everyone wants to beat them, so everyone's really trying hard today, I'm sure. Do you, do, as an Aldershot player, did you find that worked against you, in that every side, it's like their big cup final because they get a big crowd, it's like their big game of the season? Yeah, definitely, but you get used to it. It's funny, um, when I was at Aldershot, you know, it's something you expected and I, you sort of raise your game for it. I think now you come to teams like Hampton and it's their one, maybe two fixtures in the year where they really, really sort of uh, knuckle down and they can't wait for it. So it's, it's going to be good. And uh, obviously in training you would have been up against the likes of uh, Young and Segru, etc. So yeah. uh, how are yeah. you going to handle good them today? I was just having a laugh with Jimmy. I uh, said we'd have a beer afterwards. He said, yeah, after I've ripped you apart out here. So uh, <laughs> let's wait and see. All right. Okay, well, good luck today. Thank you. Big game, obviously, in the, the season, and it's got more emphasis today because it's like first v second. So, what's been your approach of the lads? Um, just relax, really. Taking things easy, doing everything we've been doing. I mean, we've only lost one in 18, so it's not worth changing it now, getting all hyped up. I mean, they're top of the league, but because i got a name for being a big club, everyone's like all shot, but same as any other club from them. Same as Croydon, same as Uxbridge. So just treat, treat, treat the game as a normal game. But what about this uh, big crowd? Uh, as a player, right? Does that give you a buzz? Uh, yeah, it does. It makes you feel good. I mean, it would help if it was more Hampton supporters, because like, when they come out, they get a big roar and all that. I mean, but we get people coming here every week, so it doesn't really matter to us. Last time we saw you was when you went down to Croydon, and that was the end of that 15-match unbeaten run. Yeah. So how has Chick turned it around? So you can, because what you need really is another run to take you up to promotion, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, that was just a case of missing easy chances. Really, we do, we played played all right. The pitch didn't help, but the next game we got straight back on it and we've won again. So. And the latter, I know, have been working on the pitch all during the week. It's looking a uh, really good, Nick. Oh yeah. Compared to a few weeks ago, it was all over the place. Bob does his best. I mean, he's got to do everything. He's got to do the training pitch, this pitch, so he's done well. Reed. It's way through to uh, Moore and Vines. But Hutchins now placing it through to Champion. Trying to set uh, Young on its way, but as ever, Crouch in a good position. Playing a good sweeping role today. Snuffing out the attack. Moore. Tries to set through Dominic Felton. Felton and tries a lob and it's gone in. A goal by Dominic Felton on his debut. Nicely played through to him by Barry Moore. And as Grant Phillips came out of his goal, Felton hit it left footed. And Hampton are 1 0 in the lead. Great through ball there by uh, Barry Moore, and seemed to come out of nothing. Well, it's so half. <laughs> so I'm struggling with words here, but uh, it's it's amazing how often Barry Moore just takes a little scrap of really nothing, and can produce a, a match-winning ball out of nowhere. I mean, it was it, it was there was no danger, and then all of a sudden there's a ball played through for Feltham, and Feltham just lobbed Phillips uh, for what 20, 25 yards. I mean, Phillips was well off his line. There was nothing he could do about it. Um, Hampton really haven't had uh, that much so far. It's been pretty even, Stevens. Um, no, Nick save, delighted. Hampton, one 0 in the lead, and Aldershot, who started sprightly, 
but not really able to create too much. Now, they set through. Young puts through Hippolyte, and Hippolyte shoots into the body of Russell. Russell did really well there to come out, narrowed the angle. But a lovely ball through by Young. Felt Hippolyte will be kicking himself, should have done better. Free kick there against uh, Crouch. Lining up on the edge of the box. Harper now and Broderick going to the far post. It makes it to the far post, but that's a good defensive header by Jennings. And referee uh, given an offside decision there uh, against Harper. And the assistant referee getting a bit of stick from the uh, old shot fans. Who are Is that weird? Well, also, once you get a little run of good weather. Yeah, I mean, had a good run. Had a game for Sunday, had a week. Yeah. But the other areas, particularly, they were the run out wide and it's Sagru. Zumi Sagru plays it out to Cleve up against Riley brings it inside champion plays it wide to Tucker Tucker with a little time to get across in now looks to the far post and it's Hutchins coming right in on Russell good claim by Russell important that he got that ball dropping right underneath the crossbar So, as the half-time whistle there it goes, and it's 1-0 to Hampton. Join us for the second half. And it's Hampton to kick off this second half, 1-0 into the leads as the floodlights come on. And the order shot support go behind that uh, goal at the far end. But it's the early pressure coming through to Hampton, and there's Barry Moore with a chance! Just firing a shot wide of the post. And there's Bertie the Beaver going off to his hole behind the uh, new stand here at Hampton. And it's Grant Phillips to take the goal kick. Jennings wins that uh, challenge against Hutchings. And there's another one on there by Crouch. Comes through to Moore. Moore looks down the line. That's one for Felton to chase. Harper comes across and he plays it out wide to Chewins. Jason Chewins, closed down quickly by Moore, manages to get the ball away to Young. Young flicks it over the head of Robin Lewis and that's Sagru. Tried to get away from uh, Lewis but just overrunning the ball. Finds. Plays back to Riley. Barry Moore trying to get ahead of Champion, and Champion was holding him back. Uh, and that looks like it's going to be the first book in of the game. Not releasing uh, Moore. It could have made that into a shooting opportunity. So Champion is the first player that goes into the book after six minutes of the second half. Back more. So more now with an opportunity. Wall lines up, five man wall. No Hampton players to join the wall. Riley makes a run across and Moore trying to curl into the top corner just goes too high. Graying cropped head. He has played up front for you. 
dived bravely at his feet and the ball's got off for an order shot corner ball comes across near post header knocked away by vines we'll play back to champion knock long Harford stayed up there and so did Broderick. Broderick now in the box. But Felton gets the ball away and comes through to Vines again. Felton knocking it forward. It's a little bit too far for more. But time now for Nick Burton to control the ball. Gets it down and looks far side for Vines. Tucker coming across. Peter Wood made the challenge. Craig Riley with the cross. Harper. Clears it away on the volley. And Hampton, a measure of the good football that they're playing is that they're keeping this Aldershot crowd really quiet. They've had nothing to cheer about in this sec second half. Moore gets a turn on. Tries to go through, but uh, push by Segrew in the back. And Jones took his feet from under him, so it's a free kick to Hampton. And older shot, deciding that they need to get things on the move. And making their first substitution, and it's champion who's going to come off. the far post binds underneath that and it comes across to Riley breaks free to Moore it's just gone wide of the area and he tries to curl one back in there but it's uh, gone off Chewins and in a free kick uh, sorry corner kick coming through to Hampton Barry Moore with a chance to get the ball in there binds on the line Nick Burton just in front of the keeper And the ball pumped in and it comes in, seemed to hit the crossbar, but uh, apparently it went out of play first. Uh. And defender there tried to let the ball run out of play. I think it's Nick Burton not able to do so, so it's a uh, corner kick. Two old a shot. Corner comes across. And it was Hippolyte at the near post. Got the flick on, and it's one all. Goal kick was disputed in a way. Nick Burton tried to let it go, but uh, the assistant referee deemed that he had the touch. So in rather fortunate circumstances, all the shots get the corner. But then as it was knocked in, here Polite freed himself from the defender, near post header. And the scores now is one all. through to Felton. Felton trying to set Savage on his way but only succeeds in the setting up Segru. Segru a quick player and seemed to lash out there against Riley. Claims he doesn't know anything about it and it's a little off the ball incident. One of the uh, older shot players was running through with the ball 
And suddenly it all seems to have gone off in the centre. Initially, that was a challenge there on uh, Riley by Segru.